Hello, hello, it is I, Arudai, and welcome to another Savage Pathfinder video. Uh, we're going to continue our series of class edges for Pathfinder for Savage Worlds uh, and discuss each of them and let you know what they are like and what uh, you might be able to do with them. But before we hop into all of that and talk about the Barbarian today, let me show you how you can show us your support. Please consider supporting us on our mission to bring guilt-free gaming to the tabletop community by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and possibly even becoming a channel member for access to exclusive videos, Geeks and Gamers tabletop emojis, and more. If you found this video particularly helpful, please consider leaving us a tip using the Super Thanks feature located next to the like buttons at the bottom of the video. All right, thank you for watching that. Now, I've got my uh, handy-dandy Pathfinder for Savage Worlds core rulebook. And uh, today we're going over the Barbarian Class Edge, which is on page 44, if you are following along. Uh, so it is a lot of what you would expect. This is all about being able to uh, take some punishment, charge into the heat of battle, and um, deal out a little extra damage with reckless abandon and rage. Um, that's a big key feature of this class, and we are going to talk about it. Uh, so first off, if you're thinking about making a Barbarian, there are a few things you need to have. Uh, you need to at least have a strength of d6 or more, and you need a vigor of d6 or more. Uh, you need to be able to dish out that damage and to take it. Uh, those are important uh, on both ends of the spectrum for this edge and for the role that you're going to play. Uh, you should note that you do have an armor restriction of medium, uh, meaning that if you take any athletics rolls uh, or agility rolls, I believe, or agility-based rolls, uh, you're going to subtract four from those if you wear something that is more than medium armor. Uh, but you can get away with medium armor, which is still pretty good, and uh, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, barbarians are fast, so they have the fast uh, trait, meaning they get plus two on their pace die. Uh, this does stack with other things, so if you have fleet-footed, for example, as an edge, um, this would stack with that. Um, as well as ancestral modifiers, by the way. Uh, and then the key thing about being a Barbarian is your Rage. Uh, this is something that you can enter as a limited free action uh, that allows you to call upon your inner strength and your ferocity to, to be stronger and more resilient. Um, it lasts five rounds. So the moment you declare, hey, I'm going into a Rage, you've got five rounds uh, to work with that with that Rage that you are on. Um However, if you're not raging, all right, I just want to take it one step back. So if you're not raging and you are either shaken or wounded, if either of those things happen, you actually have to make a smarts roll. And if you fail that smarts roll, then you rage involuntarily. Your rage just starts for five rounds right then um, because you just get so mad about the fact that you were hit. Uh, so that is a risk factor you have to, you have to think about. Um, and then at the end of a rage... So after that fifth turn is over, uh, you do take a level of fatigue from um, basically all that exertion that you have uh, gone through. Um, if you happen to end up being exhausted uh, from those that fatigue that you get from raging, you become incapacitated. You'll have to go look at the rules on incapacitation uh, to understand what that means. I do talk about it in my previous video series on combat. Now, while you're raging, you get some benefits, um, as well as sort of a drawback, but it's not too bad. Uh, so the first thing is Fury. Uh, your strength die increases by a type. In it ignores your usual maximum. Uh, so your, your die type goes up by one. So even if you are at your max die type, uh, even if it's a D12 or even a D12 plus one, it'll still go up by one. Uh, it's pretty cool. It ignores that ceiling, which is awesome, so this ability is never useless. Uh, and then also, every attack must be a wild attack. You don't get to actually choose. Uh, so you're going to be hitting harder and leaving yourself vulnerable afterwards, but that's okay. It's, uh, it's well worth the trade-out of getting that higher die roll plus that extra damage to boot. Um, you can't use any skill or ability that requires more than a few seconds of concentration. Um, this often means magic. Uh, we'll talk about that a little later in Edges, how you can get around that. Uh, you're considered enraged, which means you ignore two points of wound penalties and all fatigue penalties. Uh, so it's kind of like having Nerves of Steel for free for like five rounds. Improved Nerves of Steel, actually. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. And then Reckless Abandon. 
Uh, if a barbarian rolls a critical failure on an attack roll while raging, she hits a random target within range of her attack, not the intended target, friend or foe. If there's no applicable targets, she injures herself and suffers bumps and bruises. Uh, so critical failures kind of suck as a barbarian. This is the drawback I was talking about. Now, you do have to actually get a critical failure, um, but when it happens and you're raging, not great. But odds are low. You have to both be raging and roll the critical failure on the same turn. Uh, so this shouldn't happen too often. So those are the core concepts of the barbarian class edge. Pretty straightforward and a lot of fun. Uh, but there are some more edges along the way uh, built into this kind of class edge tree uh, that make it even better. Let's talk about them. So the first one is Powerful Blow. Uh, powerful Blow, you got to be seasoned to take it. Uh, the Barbarian's Savage Wild Attacks cause plus four damage instead of plus two. So now that you have to do those wild attacks every single turn, why not do an extra two on top of that? So now it's plus four. Very nice bonus uh, to be able to dish that out over and over again. So at a minimum, if uh, you deal damage and you meet their toughness, you're going to at least do one wound with a plus four. That's pretty solid. And then there is Intimidating Glare. That is the next one. Uh, you have to be a veteran to take this. Uh, the fearsome and baleful gaze of the wild barbarian unsettles all but the stoutest souls. When the barbarian's action card is a jack or higher, she may make an intimidation roll as a limited free action. She also ignores the usual advice on repetition, which is nice. She may issue threats and insults if she wants, but her terrible glare is often enough to send shivers down her foe's spines. So as a limited free action, you can intimidate a whole bunch of people as a test. That's pretty solid as well. Uh, setting some statuses in your favor and maybe even your allies' favor. And then the last one is Strength Surge. Uh, you, of course, have to be heroic for this one. The Barbarian's Rage knows no bounds. Her strength increases two die types when raging instead of just one. This is exceed the character's ancestral limit. That's awesome. Uh, so now, instead of going up one die type, you go up two die types, uh, making you even stronger. Throw on top of that your powerful blow. Um, you have much higher odds of hitting, and you're going to hit harder when you do. Uh, so, really awesome stuff. Uh, the Barbarian class is a lot of fun. Now, what edges would I take as a Barbarian? Uh, well, some of them would be a little bit of doubling up, but still recommended. Uh, Nerves of Steel would be really good. Uh, I don't know if I would go so far as improve Nerves of Steel. You'd have to consider how much it matters to you uh, to have those penalties uh, resolved. But remember, Enraged only takes care of two of those wound wounds that you would ignore. Um, so having that Nerves of Steel to add that additional one would make sure that um, you never take any penalties from wounds while you're enraged. Uh, it also ignores that fatigue as well, which is good with the enraged. Um, if you want to do it all the time, of course, you could do uh, Improved, giving you that, uh, that protection against up to two wounds. Um, not sure if that's necessary. Um, you could also consider Sweep. Sweep would be a really good action as a Barbarian. You're typically getting in there in the, the thick of the fray. Uh, surrounded on all sides by enemies. Um, you're going to be attacking wild anyways, so why not sweep it plus two against all of your enemies? Uh, it's a really effective combination. Uh, improved sweep obviously makes that even better. Uh, fleet footed would be really good as well. Barbarians are already fast. Why not be faster? The ability to just uh, uh, book it across the battlefield and get in there and just tank for your friends and uh, deal that damage is, well, it is priceless. Uh, you might also consider um, <clears throat> looking at social edges. Uh, you're already going to be pretty fierce in combat. Maybe there are some things that you want to make your Barbarian useful outside of combat. Uh, those are always options as well. Or if you're looking to be a little bit hardier, uh, so even when your Barbarian finally does go down, if he does, uh, you could do something like Harder to Kill, uh, keeping him in the fight longer. Something else to consider, if you're going into Prestige Edges uh, for classes, class edges, uh, you might consider Rage Prophet. Uh, we talked about this a little bit earlier. Uh, if you are looking to be able to have some spell casting ability as a Barbarian, but Rage is preventing you from doing that, the Rage Prophet is a good way to get around that. I'm going to talk about that in a later video, but something for you to look into now as you are considering your Barbarian and whether or not you would want to be able to have some sort of spell casting ability uh, in the future. Well, that is a wrap. Thank you for tuning in to a Savage Pathfinder video about Class Edges. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think about the Barbarian in the description below uh, in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, is this a class you would play? Do you like the class features? Um, how would you build your Barbarian? 
And um, if you have any stories about having played one, let us know that as well. Also, while you're here, consider going to the video description and going to the link to our Gilded, where you can hang out with me, Sevi, or any of the Geeks and Gamers tabletop crew, and we can chat with you about the shows, about uh, anything tabletop related, or just nerddom or life in general. There are all sorts of categories in our Gilded server for you to come hang out and discuss with us. Plus, there are tables where you can find games to play. Uh, it's free. People have seats open at their tables all the time, and they're all guilt-free, gaming-minded individuals like yourself, uh, which means it'll be a great fit for you. So I hope to see you there. Just go to the link in the video description below. Other than that, I hope all of your games are guilt-free and fun, and I will talk to you later. Mm-hmm.